I've got the best job in the world in the best place in the world. My name's Aaron Bond. I'm senior ranger on Mare or Murray Island. To me, being a ranger means uh, conserving our natural environment and our culture for our younger generations, making sure it's, it's still there and it's still alive for them to practice. Some of the differences I've seen uh, in this community in the ranger program are there aren't as many weeds anymore on the island. So, um, our, Turtle and Dugong man, uh, resources are being managed sustainably since the ranger program and since the management plan has been put in place in our community. So I think the community feels that um, they need rangers on the island, um, that rangers are a key part of the community. So some of the things we can do, the other stakeholders on the island can't. Um, and so. I believe that the community thinks that the rangers are a valuable asset. Tech, it is really important that we should start now, record everything, not here on the island, in TI and mainland Australia. I think it's important to start recording information, otherwise the old fellow's gone, there's no more. I think it is really important. There's a lot of changes um, that's come out of this, um, out of the Ranger pro program since it started. Um, more awareness in the communities of um, our natural resources, being more aware of um, turtles and dugongs, which is the big thing, but then even going into trees and animals in the bush. I can only say uh, good things about the program. In the islands, it means a great deal, particularly for rangers to uh, take control of looking after the environment. Because uh, for so long, uh, since time began, our people were the first people to look after our islands. And so the ranger program is a complementary uh, service to what was done before. And for them to uh, take pride in their community, I think it's the best thing that can happen. That management of the, those species, the turtle and dugong, is very important for the sustainability of where we want to be as a nation, where we want to be as teaching our children about the cultural uh, environment, particularly of dugong and turtle, because it's part of our, our history, it's part of our totem, and uh, what better way to be uh, working closely with rangers to have that involvement from community to uh, make sure that uh, it's there for us today and uh, towards the future. I'm Aaron Ketchell, um, I'm a senior ranger at Erub, for Erub is out in the eastern cluster. Uh, I've been a ranger since, uh, for I think, five, five years now. For a ranger is to do a lot of uh, diving for community freezer, trochus and crayfish, uh, beach to mer, then uh, started um, working at a for the um, council as a water officer. Kinds of mean a lot to me because I get to um, work outside on my island, on the land and out in sea, which is pretty special. And uh, all the knowledge that I receive from this job, I can pass it down to all my um, nephews and all the, all the young ones. That's, that's what makes it special for me. I can express my, my more happy. Since I've been in Darnley, I'm 75 years old. And then look, people who walk, the rains I clean up, the beaches, all the witches and gone, they got do good, good, very good work, very excellent. I can complain when the rain clean up here, even, not even on here, the cemetery, or no. 
further up we another place there called Maga on the area. We go there after. Yeah. The rains are, well, I, I can say, how oh, we have, I appreciate over 75 B, uh, one of the rains I do. Here we are. The cleaner air of all them. I can say any more, but I saw. Thank you, them rains are, for their work, for the effort they put in here. Especially these billies here, camus billies. Well, another, another um, work here, air ranges. Um, doing me with Arub, um, is erosion control. Uh, we we'll start try with do some. The main idea is for this for um, stop some of the silt them soil uh, and encourage them grass for grow back so we can they can do the job instead of the silt traps. So we try a few methods. Uh, this year use the silt trap. With them wires and tie them up to them star pickets. You got um, they call it a coil log. It's made out of um, a big net made out of coconut fiber and the coconut chips in inside. They roll it up, come out like a long log, soft log, and you just lay it across where them where the water runs. As long as it gets that area level, so you know, it stops the force of the water flowing. And, it sinks down rather than flowing up. Auntie, you got one match here. Oh, right. Oh, look at this. Looks like oh, a good one. That's fantastic. Oh, Nancy, come and have a look at this. I like the um, bit of orange coming on it, eh? How are you? Bye, right, bye, right, how are you still? Oh, there's no good. holes in it? No, what kind of one? Now, what would you like to make out of it? You know, you had this net and you found it. Oh, I could make one. Here you go, baby. Oh, it'd be good for a shark, wouldn't it? Nice colour for a shark. Yeah. A big shark. <laughs> but we picked it up from Mize up yeah. on our turtle survey. Oh, right. So that was in December, we picked it up. Yeah, I mentioned to you if you saw any nets out there to bring them back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for collecting it. Stephen Island is a very small island community, um, about 38 square hectares all up, a population of about 50 people, constantly fluctuated um, every now and then, uh, given the fact because of the isolation of the community where we have no airfield, no access to um, fixed winged aircraft. The only way in and out of the island is either by helicopter or by boat. The biggest change I would see is the um, the weed eradication work or control work uh, with Lukina on the island. Like I said, the seed uh, was first brought here by one of the locals years ago uh, for traditional bead work. And it was very much in demand. They loved the Lukina seeds. It's the kind of thing that, um, unfortunately for us, uh, given the rich volcanic soil, we didn't have no idea that Lukina would be such a pest. And because we had no range, I only started in 2012. And you can imagine by that time, there were forests all over this island. Major parts of the island were completely covered with it. Because it's a very, very big difference. And it's something that I'm, um, and the majority of the community, I guess, are just uh, straightforward proud of. It's the kind of thing, it's the small things that they say when they tell you, it's nice to feel the fresh, you know, the fresh air again. Um, it's nice to see all these trees are gone. We can actually see the ground again. Um, and it's, it's a big difference. I know because at the times working there, it was only me, myself and I. And it was something that would have never happened if I didn't have the support of the Greater Ranger team behind me and, um, and the support of the LSMU, of course. And, um, and I guess uh, I can never really say enough to thank them on behalf of the community. We're going to be doing that again this year too, and there's going to be more blending in the garden. We'll also be doing things like um, planting manure, banana, things like that. We'll be doing that in the garden over here. 
So that's something exciting people for the kids too. So we'll be doing that out here. Um, the school garden now. Yeah. As you can see, the school garden is just there. There's a space on the side. That's where your traditional garden will be. Ah, yes, last but not least, I'd just like to say to all of my ranger team out there, um, it's, an, it's always been a pleasure to work with you, Mop. I'd just like to say big, it's all like you said, for the differences made in my community, it's something that would never be possible without the help um, of such an awesome team. And all I can say is to all my ranger families out there is to keep up the good work and uh, by all means, uh, uh, Keep on going, keep that head up and always remember that's how we roll.